So you want to render your scene in Blender 2.82 or any other 2.8 other type of 2.80 type type 8 with points uh, somewhere with a 2 and 8. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back in Blender once again. This this is going to be a video on how to uh, render your scene and so many people have actually been asking me this. I figure I'll do an updated version. I have done a how to render your scene before, but we're going to do an updated version just because the GUI looks different. It's exactly the same thing, but the GUI just looks different and it can be a little confusing. Uh, so I, I decided I might as well just update it. So. If we go over here to the right hand side tab, you can see we have the render properties tab right here. And if you head to this bad boy, this isn't gonna gonna really be anything you wanna you wanna mess with. So there's gonna be a bunch of different effects and stuff like that, like film and screen space reflections, depth of field, bloom, and yada yada. So this is kinda gonna is kinda gonna be misleading a little bit. It's not really the render settings, it's it's just like post-process settings kind of so if you move one down you can see the output properties which is what we're going to want to uh, take a look at so if I zero on my numpad uh, to go into the cameras view you can see we have uh, the uh, the camera here we have the, the the camera the camera viewport whatever the camera seeing is inside this little box here um, and now the uh, default cube is obviously being taken a look at here so if we were to render our scene, we would see exactly this, which is nice because that's what I want. Um, but if we were to render this, it wouldn't do anything. It would just render nothing. It's not going to render to an actual output yet. So we can do that by going ahead and going up to uh, render animation or we can go up to render image. Now, I'm going to do both of these in this video and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to go to render animation first. But before we hit this, you're going to want to go ahead and go on down here to output and change this uh, little folder icon to a folder on your desktop or in your uh, documents folder and your videos folder wherever it is just go ahead and put that output to somewhere click that and it'll open up a little browser for you and then you can go ahead and choose your uh, directory um, after you've done that let's say this says like uh, home uh, guy uh, documents you know let's say it says something like that not Homer um, but yeah, let's say some, some says something like that. Now we have that all set up. Uh, we need to go ahead and change our file format. So if you want just an image, go ahead and make sure this is on PNG or JPG or JPEG or BMP or whatever it is. Um, but if you want a video, you have a couple options. Uh, you're pretty much going to want to just only do FFMPEG. Uh, so I'm going to hit that, hit that on right there. And then for the encoding uh, properties, you're going to open this up and you're going to change the container from Matroska to uh, MPEG-4, which is, uh, of course, uh, 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 MP4. So that's, uh, that's going to be your basic right there. Now, you can also do QuickTime um, and you can just leave it on Matroska, really. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, but there's going to be a couple different things you want to do. So if you're trying to have a transparent background, if you want your trans your background to be transparent for either picture or video, same thing, same dealio here. Um, you're going to want to head, head down to uh, QuickTime and then change the uh, and change the video codec to FFmpeg video codec number one right here. Click that, and now you can see right up here we have the RGBA uh, option, which BW stands for black and white. RGB stands for red, green, blue, and RGBA stands for red, green, blue, alpha, which means now we can actually render transparency in our scene, which is what we need if we're going to do transparency uh, with a with a with a transparent background. Now you're you're going to want to also go ahead go ahead and go on down to the uh, go on up sorry to the render properties here tab here, and then go to film and make sure transparent is checked. Now if we go to render viewport shading here, you can see. That if I were to click this, now we have a nice rendered viewport of uh, of transparency. So you can see here we have some really nice uh, transparent background, which is nice, which is exactly what I need if we're doing transparency for whatever we happen to be doing. So moving on. Um, that transparent checkbox is very important. If you don't do that, then it's not going to be transparent. I've had a lot of questions about that before in the past. That is all up to that. The transparent tick box right there. If you don't click that, then it's not going to work at all. All right. Next up, if we uh, if we go ahead and uh, have all these settings set, then we are 
we're done. If you want to render any audio you have in your scene, make sure you go ahead and uh, and change the audio from no audio to MP3 or AAC or whatever you want to use. Uh, but yeah, so we don't have any audio, but I'm just going to leave it for now just because that's a good thing to do if you have audio. Of course, up here you have frame rate. You can change the frame rates. This isn't really rendering per se to an output, but you can change the frame rates. You can change the end frames, the resolution, and you can uh, decrease the scale of the resolution. Um, here as well so the next the next thing we got to do is of course render this now so if I want to render an image we would go ahead and hit render image and this uh, pretty much only applies to images uh, for video if you're rendering a, a video format so mp4 um, you know whatever else MOV whatever you're doing if it's a video format then you don't really need to worry about this next step because it's going to do it automatically it's going to save it to a file automatically but for images it doesn't automatically save which is kind of strange so you're going to go ahead and go up to render image like that and then you can see now up here we have a view and uh, an image so if we, if we hit image we can choose save or save as so if you hit save as you can go ahead and bring up a dialogue and save it to an actual file that you know you can open <laughs> so that's what we want that's what we need um, and that's how you save it to an image right there so I know it's, a, it's one more step than the video um, part is because you just have to hit render animation right here just to render an animation and it saves automatically but for for pictures you do have to hit save as or save or whatnot so very cool stuff that's how you render your scene hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye